Federal health officials are one step closer to potentially linking health impacts to exposure from toxic chemicals known as PFAS. It comes after a five year study examined a group of people who drank contaminated water at a former Pease Air Force base in Seacoast, New Hampshire. And Dr. Aaron Bernstein, the director of the Agency for Toxic Substances and Disease Registry, which is a division of the US CDC, met members of the Pease community earlier this week. ATSDR officials discussing the findings of the first in the nation's study. The first report found that nearly 1,000 adults and children had much higher concentrations of the compounds than the general population, but were lower compared to blood tests taken between 2015 and 2017. A second report could reveal any connections to health conditions reported by the participants, including heart disease and diabetes to those compounds. But our next step is really to see if you had higher levels of PFAS, were you more likely to have one of these conditions? Coming up at 6, News Center Maine's Vivian Lee takes a closer look at that study, including one mom who has waited for nearly a decade for some answers after she says her children drank that contaminated water at daycare at Pease.